What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Will, here for another edition of My Summer Car featuring my best friend in the world who couldn't make it. So instead, I've got Ian Gibson. Hi. Was last week when I did the Wii and Crips and stream? Would it be inappropriate for me to do that again? Probably. Okay, okay. Wean, can you Wean, can you leave? We don't need you on the show. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye, Bye. Wean. He's gone. Oh, it's such a good bit. Anyway, it hmm? no, it's not. Um, <laughs> I'm here. Um, we're gonna play my summer car some more. I really I'm so bad at these. Um Ian, how was your day? How was your day today? That's you know, I'll start um, it was pretty good. You want to talk about my new monitor? Uh, not really, but uh, we're going to. Okay, uh, I'll give myself 30 seconds. Okay, ready? I want to cut to my screen without it being there. Dang it. Okay, well, you get set up. Okay, so I finally bought a 4K monitor. Okay, it's continue. great. Uh, I forgot how difficult it is to get new monitors set up, especially when you have multiple monitors and you have multiple stands, and it, things are still really out of whack, and I need a new desk because my desk is falling apart. But it's uh, it's good. I'm glad I have a new monitor, and it's going to be great for streaming and video editing because of all the extra real estate time. Yay! I know. I love... I have a really wide monitor, and I really love it. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm going to sleep. Get rid Sleepy peepee. -pee. Oh, no. I think I slept already. That's why I have zero fatigue. I do have some urine, so I'm going to go pee. Hey, I quick have question. Done... What? What's um, your question? Are you playing a game? I'm playing a game called My Summer Car. Oh. Are, are you, though? I am. Why? I don't see a game. You don't see a game? What do you see? I just see Discord. Oh, because I didn't share a screen with you yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I could watch the stream, but then I would just be very just far behind. Me, let me grab Discord. And, of course, now everyone sees my desktop. I thought you were um, implying that I was not streaming. So No, I, was... I, I, I thought about making that more clear, but then I thought it, I just wanted to hear a little bit of a heart attack in your voice. Okay. Um, so I am stressed right now, and the best way to get rid of stress is to drink beer. Okay, so uh, I've done a lot. Uh, unfortunately, after last week, I did not save properly. Um, okay. So I had to rebuild this engine, but I did go to the store and get spark plugs, and I got an alternator and a new battery and some brake fluid. And I also ordered, you'll like this, I ordered a ratchet set. <gasps> so Wait, does that actually make a difference in the game? It does. It helps me put things on faster. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's let me see very, that ratchet. It's a lot faster. So I can oh, two here, good. pick up this one. Okay, so where are we? The engine's together, right? Oops. Well, almost together. Almost together. So uh, if you want to... Oh, man, this is laggy a little bit. Um, If you want to pick up... Sorry, I'm trying You're to... You're a little stressed. Yeah, I forget how to get... Let's look at all of these sausages... Went and bought a bunch of sausages. I am a pro at this game now, by the way. Um, Perfect. I think I can get rid of my stress by using... No, the sauna doesn't get rid of it. Chopping wood, I think, does. But I'm pretty sure drinking also does it. So I'm just going to keep drinking. Yeah, let's just drink a lot. So um, there's a birthday present that you get from your parents. And you can find it in uh -huh. their room. And there's a bottle of what must be a giant bottle of vodka... And as I was trying to pick up everything, I just drank it. And oh, I had no. to do all of the trips to and from town while in, <laughs> like, while my screen was doing this. Yeah, I was about to say, what, what are the drunk effects in this game? It's literally that. And I, I thought, oh, what can I not? Oh, I'm in tool mode. That's why. I thought I was drunk. Like, I would look away from the screen and feel like I was drunk. It was it was incredible. Anyways, where um, I feel like the last thing I did was the water pump. Is that like a radar detector? It is a radar buster. Radar buster. Uh, yes, yeah, so you did the water pump. Okay. Um, I don't have the guide in front of me. I kind of just want to not do the guide for a bit. Okay, let's go with. Did you put the rocker cover panel on? Uh, the no, rocker I, cover. I very much want the guide. 
Let's okay, get that. Well, Let's do get the rocker that. cover. Uh, no, I don't want to do the rocker cover because that's not the next step in the guide. I thought that was. No, you skipped a bunch of stuff back when I looked at the guide. Did I? Yeah, you did. Okay, I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Uh, okay, this says... This is not the same guide I was looking at. Use the electric boogaloo one. Oh, I was looking at that one, but that one's not good. No, that one's, that's the one I'm following. No, there's a better one. No. Okay. Okay, sorry, getting there. Well, we, we skipped all the suspension. Do you want to do the suspension? No, I want to finish the engine. Okay, all right. Give me a second. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, did you, you didn't do the... What did you do last? Water pump? Yeah, if you're on that guide that I mentioned. Okay, and now now water pump pulley. What did we miss? Water pump pulley? Yeah, water pump pulley. There it is. We didn't miss anything. No. We didn't miss anything on the engine. Yeah, like spark plugs and all that stuff you had skipped because we didn't have them. No, spark plugs are later. No, I are you, you're not looking at the right guide. Well, well, actually, no, wait, 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 sorry. Spark plugs can go in now if you want to, but the, that, that, that order doesn't matter. Right, but I just wanted to follow the guide that I was. My, okay, but the guide I'm looking at is better because when it says water pump, it has pictures of the pump and how to put it on, whereas your guide does not. Yeah, but I don't want pictures. What size uh, is this? Uh, seven mil seven. times four. Yeah, so, so this goes on top of the water pump. Look how fast that goes in. Ooh. Okay, so after this, we're going to do the crankshaft pulley. So, fun fact, the crankshaft pulley and the crankshaft nose is what was broken on my Miata when I bought it. So, uh, you have to suffer through this because it was your decision to play my summer car. Um, basically what happens is that the timing chain or the timing belt syncs up the crankshaft, which runs the pistons and yeah. the camshaft or rockers, which determine when the valves are open and closed. Yeah. So they need to be in sync so that, you know, for example, when the, uh, spark plug fires, the piston is going down. Um, so I already lined so, those up properly, the crankshaft and the, the gear. You have to like aim an arrow at another arrow. Oh, for the timing. Yeah. But did you put the crankshaft pulley on? No, crankshaft pulley's over here. Right. Plus, here. you can just you can just time. Yeah. Why didn't mine? Why didn't my guy talk about timing? Yeah, it told me to do it properly. Where's the gear go? It goes on the front of the engine. So okay, so basically. My Miata ran like crap, and the reason why when I tore it down was that there's a notch on the um, front of the crankshaft that what basically allow that is a 11 millimeter that okay. keeps the crankshaft pulley attached to the crankshaft so that they don't spin separately, if that makes sense. So yeah. like when the crankshaft spins, the pulley spins. My keyway was busted. So basically, whenever I put down the accelerator, the crankshaft and the crankshaft pulley would slightly separate. Mm -hmm. Like they would counter rotate oh, and that would throw off my timing. It would throw off my timing by like 15 degrees, which meant that I had almost no acceleration. Like I would put the pedal to the floor and it would take me literally 10 seconds to go from zero miles per hour to 10 miles per hour. Jeez. Very bad. So it was either replace the crank, like tear the engine apart and replace the crankshaft and the oil pump and all this other stuff or just buy a junkyard engine that doesn't have that issue. Oh, well. And I've just bought the junkyard engine and did it that way. Sweet. So uh, just just fun fact, uh, very it. important part. Um, okay, so crankshaft bullies on, what's next? Alternator. Alternator, uh, how's chat going? <gasps> oh no, uh, Stream Mom was here, but he can't watch because of internet issues. No, Stream Mom. It's okay. It's okay, Stream Mom, because we know that you're going to come back later and watch it. Uh, alternator goes on the front. It looks like it goes on the front. 
Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where this is. It looks like it goes to the front right between the crankshaft and the uh, water pump. Uh, maybe it goes this way? Mm, no, it goes that way. Because there's a pulley on the front that the accessory belt's on. Yeah, but I think you, you're on the other side of the engine. On the right oh, side of the engine. I saw it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think that's what this picture is showing. Why can't I grab you? There we go. It's okay, stream mom. Yeah, so basically that runs an accessory belt. Runs the alternator. Okay, what are my sizes for that? That is a 7 millimeter top and a 10 millimeter bottom. That's, uh... Nope. There's a gauge duck in there somewhere. I was waiting for it. Seven I was waiting for it. Okay, so to make you happy, I'd like you to know that on my monitor, I'm now going to pull up both guides side by side. Yay. Okay, so this says the engine. Yeah, see, he puts the spark plugs in, but you can put the spark plugs in later. They don't necessarily have to go in at that point in time. And then do I have to adjust the screw at all? Um, let me check. You need to put the alternator belt on before you fully tighten the alternator, but before you tighten that top part. Oh, the screw thing? Uh, no, no. So, okay. So just look, look. Yeah. If you look at the engine. Yeah. So that alternator belt is going to go around all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you're so, going to adjust the alternator position. Is that this thing? Detention. Yes. This would be uh, I have detailed instructions. Okay. So put the alternator belt on. Oh, I saw it. I know. Oh. Alternator okay. belt on. Okay. Tighten the two bolts to secure the alternator. Okay, I already did that. Now tighten the... Then adjust the belt tension by scrolling the mouse wheel while looking at the alternator to change the alternator position. Rotate it until the pulley is touching the belt. Then tighten the screw. Oh, wait. Wait, look. Did you, did you already tighten that top sorry, one? Sorry, sorry. I, I tightened that up there, but this is the screw. How do I, how do I make the alternator move again? Say that line. It said, um, adjust the belt tension by scrolling the mouse wheel while looking at oh, the alternator. Saying, where do I, how? Yeah. Oh. So scroll it until the pulley is touching the belt. Yeah, from that angle. Yeah. Uh, that That's looks good. pretty good right there. Yeah. Okay, and now, okay, now I'll tighten, I'll the, tighten screw. the screw. Dope. God, it. that would suck if that was the way you did it in real life. Oh, I can't put it because then you would, you would literally have to be manhandling the alternator, and then tightening the screw. Yeah, jeez. Okay, what's uh, next? Um, so Steam once on. the engine is running, we're gonna have to come back and properly adjust the alternator position. Okay. Which is annoying. Uh, alternator belt, the engine plate. Uh, that is over. You tightened that um, alternator adjustment screw, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Engine plate. It's the it's the flat piece of yeah, circular metal. Yeah. I know what it looks like. I just can't remember where it. It's is. right, right there. You just passed it. Where? You just passed it. Not that. Keep going. Keep going. Bam. Yes. Wait. Oh, I was looking for the. You know that flat plate, the one that goes between these two. Oh, the head gasket. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, so that goes in the back. It's the cover. And, and then we're probably going to have to attach the flywheel at some point. Um, I don't think so, right? No. It's it's just a shield. It'll get sandwiched Yeah. Uh, by the transmission. Uh, we need the starter. Starter. Drive gear. Yeah, oil normally, pan. normally I take the starter off before I do the flywheel. Starter. There it is. So the starter goes. Yeah, it, it goes in that area. Um, this area. 
because it attaches to the flywheel. There. Oh. Whole engine. Of so basically, the starter is an electric motor that spins the flywheel to start okay, the engine. What's my sizes on that? That is a uh, seven mil by two. Seven. Mil. Okay, that one is in. Okay. Ow, Next, you are going me. to do the flywheel, which is a seven mil by six. These bolt measurements don't sound right. What? I guess I'll find the flywheel. So, for example, in my engine, which is a tiny 1.6 liter four cylinder, the flywheel bolts were 14 millimeter. This is saying that it's seven millimeter. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. That's the whole thing. Oh, no. What did I knock over? <gasps> My ratchet set. What's that? What's that noise in the background? By the way, is that just a fly buzzing around you? Oh, uh, the air conditioner. No, it's it's like a it's either a music or it's a fly. Is there a fly in game? Oh 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 in game. Uh maybe. Well, I can't I can't tell if it's in game, or your mic. No, I I, I don't know. Oh, that's a fly. Size? That's what definitely a fly. That's definitely a fly. You definitely heard that fly. Um, seven cut. millimeter. Oh, can you see oh, if there's a... Uh, yep. Ooh. I can hmm? barely hear this game, so... Oh, okay. Um, what were you asking me about? Can you search if stress is going to kill me? No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Oh, Maybe you should save? Uh, no, because it's a save and quit. Oh. I don't well, think good luck, I, I guess. I'm just going to drink some more to get rid of Get my stress down. Forget how I got rid of it last time. I think chopping wood. Okay, what are the sizes of these uh, ratchets here? Um, pardon me, 7 millimeter. Even these ones? But what I was... Yeah, what, what I was saying is that that bolt size doesn't sound right yeah, because on my engine, 14. mine was 14 millimeter. The other thing is seven millimeter is not a common metric size for bolts. It would probably be eight would be the closest. I, I don't think I've seen a seven. Um, and most car manufacturers, they actually do something pretty cool, especially if they're good. They'll, they'll try and keep a majority of the bolts on the car within like the same three or four sizes you know like oh, 10 nice. 12 14 17. yeah so that way like it, for your kit your emergency road kit you really only need like four wrenches um it, it won't actually be 100 percent of the bolts on the car because some of them do need to be beefy but they'll at least try to keep it relatively uniform yeah okay i'm gonna sleep quick to see if i get rid of any of my stress oh, yeah. that's how we sleep Nope. Didn't get rid of any of my stress. Hey, I'm going to hit you up um, in Discord with a question. Why is it making Unrelated so to the stream. What, what does that lamp say? What does it that lamp says, say? It says ball field. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear, if this stress kills me, Oh, my God, that's me, terrifying. So upset. You want me to look it up? Yeah, can you see? My stress is red right now. I don't think this it's is good. stress death. Curse, cursing, cursing. Just keep cursing. What's cursing? Uh. Oh, yeah, just keep doing that. Uh, sauna. 
Cigarettes. It's cursing beer, sauna, and cigarettes. Still peeing. Wow, I'm so glad they didn't censor that that text. Uh, oh well. <laughs> I'd say go to the sauna. I've tried the sauna before and it wasn't working last time. Oh, like you couldn't get it working? Yeah, because you gotta like turn it on. Okay, let me look it up. I gotta. Oh! Okay, you gotta turn the knobs with the mouse wheel. Yeah, I did that. And then you, and then you use the dipper to grab water and throw it on the stove. You gotta wait for the temperature to get hot, which is evident on this thing. Which is real good. Two knobs on the stove. Turn them both. Wait till it's hot. Thermometer on the wall. Then fill the bucket with water from the shower next room. Grab the ladle. With the left mouse, press F to equip, then take water from bucket with left mouse button. Um, so you gotta go to the shower and fill up the bucket. Uh, you got a lot of flies in your apartment. Is it because I'm dirty? Why oh, are, dirty? are you dirty? You're not that dirty. Maybe it's dirty in the apartment. Are you... Okay, is that a... should probably close the door. Yeah, that's true. Taking a nice old stress break. What's the temperature look like? See, it's still right there. That's why, I, like, do I have to light it? No, it just says uh, turn both of them. Yeah, Did you turn both of them all the way? What about the one on the right? That's a timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just makes sure it turns off after time. Like, I can hear it working. So I guess it's heating up. It says it, it takes like 10 real minutes of sitting there doing nothing before it heats up. Nice. So maybe just leave this on and then come back to it. You got any cigarettes or beer? I got beer. Let's just go drink all your beer. Let's just leave it on. Leave it on. And then we'll go get. Close the door. I'll come. Drink all your beer. Let's go drink some more beer. All of it. All of it. Yes. So I really want to do place? it, but I have this Finland? envelope um, that I can bring to the store. Oh, so for that ratchet set, I had to bring an envelope to the store and send away for it. And I had to wait in game like two days. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's like mail order. Yeah. So this one is for a computer, but it costs like $6,000. Oh, my stress. Wow. Is down. Nice. I'm gonna go have another beer. Oh, also chopping firewood. Okay, that's what I thought. I can go do that. Okay, you know what else takes care of your stress? Can you, can you press the P button? Yeah. Wee. Yeah, but just get it all the way down. Yeah, just keep going. So, Ian, you, you know when wall? you're peeing and you, like, get towards the end and it's kind of uh -huh. dripping out, but then you have one little burst? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that in this game. Okay, uh, are you out of urine? I'm out of urine. Okay, I need you to repeatedly press the P button. Please tell me you masturbate. Just keep doing it. I just got full dirtiness from that. I think it's supposed to reduce your stress. Is uh, it working? I can't tell, but I'm like full. I'm going to get in the shower and do this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to oh die my of God. dirtiness. Oh, yeah. 
gonna use. There you go. Okay, now, now keep doing it. Oh. <laughs> it's real dirty now that I think about it. That is dirty. That's so dirty. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. You got any uh, cigarettes? No, uh, I'll try the sauna once I'm done. Any chat action? Nobody watches this, right? Um, they have, we have one viewer. Their name is Subpixel Team. Is that right? Yes, it is me, Subpixel Team. Oh, any horrible? This is right. Oh, I tell you, boy, right? Did you? Okay. Okay, let's go chop that sound right you thought we were making a car this week nope chopping wood I know I wish we could turn on cheats but I guess you just can't yeah they turned off the console a while back I was reading up on it oh boy Pardon me. So you can like chop this wood drunk. and then sell it, and like this whole oh, thing. Oh, so um, like I was saying before the stream started, um, so I was in the shower this morning, oh, and I uh was just thinking of if somebody asked me like what are the best things Subpixels done so far in terms of our live streams and scan lines and stuff. We've got we've done some good stuff, some like very funny stuff, That's true. you know. Yeah. Now, if only we could get like maybe one. I don't know, maybe maybe two viewers. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, you hit that great. so hard it. Yeah, they kind of go everywhere. You ever chopped wood in real life? Hell's yeah. Nice. I love chopping wood. Is is a very fun thing especially when it's nice and dry and it just like cracks oh, so yeah good. i um i tried it once uh very first swing i cut my shin open about four inches with the axe and i had to get a bunch of stitches wow okay yeah so uh no i don't think i've ever chopped wood pretty much really oh yeah i, I did a bunch as a kid uh we have a uh, like a farmhouse up in vermont so we'll usually chop a bunch of wood up there. What's uh, what's going on here? I don't know. I really, really can't hit this one. It's like a indestructible Is log. It... Are you having to actually like aim it? Not really. I kind of just hit it a bunch. There we go. <laughs> what is happening? Are you drunk? Not your character, you. Oh, no. I have to edit some scan lines after this, so I decided I probably shouldn't drink. Probably a good idea. Oh, I really can't hit this one. Wow. Okay, let's go back to the car. Let's just do it. Let's go to the car till we die. No, I don't want to die, Ian. We only got 30 minutes left. Oh, well... No. Yes. Okay, let's go back. I'll check the sauna real quick. So I think our I think our goal. First of all, we're not playing this game next week. No. Uh, but I think our goal for today is to get the engine running. Right. We don't need. We're not going to get the car running. Yeah, I was trying to because... decide if I would just keep playing this after we stream. Yeah, I don't think so. On my own. Wow, you get dirty real quick. I was hitting P. Oh, okay. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, but I wasn't sure if we were ever going to stream this ever again. So I thought yeah. to myself, I might just finish the car on my own. Okay, let's check the song. Yeah, oh. and then we could we could come back to it and drive oh, it around. Oh, just getting up there. Yeah, dump oh. some water on it. Just cl close the door through yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do that. No. Okay. That's that's, 
Let's scoop in it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you immediately dump it out? Yep. Uh... <gasps> nice. Oh, yeah, your stress immediately went down. Uh... Ooh, you know what? I thought a sauna would be nice. Was there... There wasn't a sauna in Iceland, right? I don't think so. There was. I'm upset that I missed it. Oh, this is getting rid of my stress right quick. Nice. Apparently you can nice. burn down your house if you don't check this. Let's just burn down the house. Burning, Burning down, down the house. house. Uh, so other than this, what other games have you been playing for the last week? Uh, I've been playing... Um, I finished Outer Wilds. Oh, you finished it, finished it. Finished How long did it take it? you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like 20 hours? I played a lot of it. Hi, RTKT. Thanks for joining. Uh, we're playing My Summer Car. Um, it's really boring right now, just to catch you up, because uh, we were stressed and we almost died because of it. I had some sausages. Uh, but so, Outer Wilds, um, do you still hate the game? Uh, I hate you. <laughs> it's you know, I kind of feel as of I right now, feel bad about that, but at the same time, like, man, I it's just so funny that that we talked about it and you were like, I hate that game, I hate it. So stupid, and then a week later, all of a sudden, you love it. It's great. Yeah, it's so weird how I didn't do that. Okay, what's next? Um, I'm not. I think I'm gonna play a couple more loops, but I'm not sure I'm gonna finish it. I've got too much going on. Okay, we are now going to do the clutch cover plate, the clutch pressure plate, and the clutch disc. Do I put them all on at the same time? No. So first, you're going to attach the clutch pressure plate to the clutch cover plate. Yeah, you don't want to put it on you. They're making this? you, like, assemble the clutch. You're going to attach plate? the clutch. Yes, yeah, so you want to attach the pressure plate to the, to the cover. Good. Attached. Now you are going to attach what the are clutch those disc. I... Are they sized? Is there any? Oh, I don't. Looks like... No, I don't think they're. Oh, okay. I see. What's next then? Yeah. The clutch disc. Yeah, boy. Oh, I see. And then that this whole thing gets attached. Yes, and that whole thing gets attached. Um, so basically, the clutch uh, is what connects and disconnects the flywheel from the transmission. And what's the uh, so size that is, for that? That is a six millimeter. Um, I, I hope that me like explaining all these things is getting you to the point where you never want to play a card game with me. No, I'm loving <laughs> it. Um, I'm thinking when we have funding, we'll just go and build a car in real life. For you. you know, you're you better not be joking, because I actually do think. I think for about $10,000, we could do a week trip of driving, of getting somewhere, getting the rental car, buying a crap car, buying the tools, buying the parts to get it running. I would totally do that. That's, okay, clutch or we could just is done. Shoot it out of my garage, my workshop. Um, okay, so now you are going to oil pan, which goes on the bottom of the engine. What are you looking for? You, yeah, you just passed it. There it is. Okay, oil pan, bottom of the engine. What size is it? It is seven millimeter. And a 13 millimeter. How many seven? It's eight sevens and one 13. I, the 13, I think, is for the drain pan plug on the bottom. Oh, can I 
not? Uh, yeah, you gotta rotate it. I say just flip it on its head. I don't think I can. Oh. Yeah, you're holding the bangish. I was afraid I could not lift it anymore. <laughs> can you imagine if they did that to that, you? Like, yeah, halfway through, you attach too much weight to it. That's why I'm surprised they don't have an engine stand where it just like sits on the stand and you can rotate it if you need to. Okay, I mean, if you just turn it on and it blows, then that would be hilarious. Okay, and then I close this plug. You said it's 13? Yeah, that's the 13. I'm assuming that's the 13, because there's only one of them. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically the plug. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the gearbox or transmission, which is already assembled. Pretty nice of them. So just attach the gearbox to the back where the clutch went. Um, and then it's seven millimeter. Whoa. Six, seven millimeter bolts. Six, seven millimeter. It's kind of weird. So this engine must be mounted transverse. Must be a front wheel drive. Okay, now I gotta find out where these bolts are. No. There's one there's one large bolt. Oh there they all are. Yeah, there's the six. large bolt you said uh yeah it looks like the large bolt is you know where the what size is it it's 10 millimeter um i'm just trying to figure out it's above the altern it's above the starter uh okay let's see it Got him. Yes. Okay, what's yeah. next? Uh, the drive gear. Drive gear. I think that's this thing. Yeah. Where do you go? I feel like we skip some steps. Well, I haven't put that super header on. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't. Maybe he skipped those in here. Okay. Bearings, pistons. You put the exhaust header on. Uh, is that a right. little clacker thing? No, it's it's like the exhaust pipe header. I have no idea. But I I we put the the rockers on. Rockers are good. You didn't put the rocker cover on though. No. I think it's to the left. Uh, where does this drive thing go? What is that, the drive gear? Okay, sorry, let me scroll down to that. Oh, wait, the drive gear. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is a six millimeter times seven. That is, well, I guess that is right. Nice. Um, yeah, it should be seven of those. Six. 
Where's the oh seven? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Just a quick. So everyone's gonna see me. My desktop probably. My no, desktop. Nice. Oh, Miss Auto Cataloggy 1992. Man, okay. I'd, okay. I'd go for an open world finished driving game. That'd be pretty good. Okay, now we do spark plugs. Okay, those are already in. Oh, you already put them in? Yeah. Okay, now we do rocker cover. Okay, so now the rocker cover is, let me get back to 7 millimeter. You're, you already have this 7 millimeter on? No, I have the 6. And that's 6 of them? Yes, 6 of them. Bugs, fuel pump, distributor. I like that I can do both sides on one side. Did you did you happen to charge your did I happen to charge my what? I yeah, will worry about it if it doesn't work. Okay, so now you have uh, okay, the fuel pump. So we need the fuel pump. The fuel pump goes above the starter on the block. Oh, I bought a fuel mixture gauge, by the way. Oh, wow, but that's, that's yeah, that's, that's a fuel old pump. Old. So that goes, yeah, right there. And what's that for screwage? Okay. Seven millimeter. Two. Um, done. Okay. Now you are going to need the distributor. It's a single six millimeter bolt. Where's it go? Right there. Six millimeter, you say? Yes. It's, I, like uh, I think it's on the other side. So it's like on that base plate, but. It's not that right there. No, I think it's between the distributor and the, and the engine and the, and the uh, spark plugs. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's between the distributor and the spark plugs. Yeah, so you gotta look in that gap, basically. It should be in there. Yeah, but it should show up from the top. I think you were just over it, but you just, you may have to rotate it and look at it from a different angle. Maybe they removed it. Oh, no, yeah, that's it right there. Where? That? That's a screwdriver. Is it a screw? I guess it is. This guy may be wrong. Screwed. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, so now we can install the engine. So you need to put the hoist, put the engine on the hoist. But the, do I have to put the headers on? Mm, that's what the hoist yeah, connects, yeah. Right? Yeah, you're supposed to put that on earlier. It goes on the other side. And that is. Okay, give me a second here. Troll F. Troll F F. U, C, oh, no, sorry. 
Eight mil. Eight mil times five. Time. I bet I can put it on the floor now. I, I thought it wasn't. I thought you couldn't get the hoist low enough. Yeah, but now it has all this extra stuff on it. Oh, you mean like the oil? Yeah. And then just remember the that one side is like the the attachment points are lopsided. So you, that was what got us last time. We had to line up the lopsided. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What size is that uh, stuff for that? Hmm. Let me check. 10 mil. So we're going to have to put this in the car. I don't know if we can put it in the car. Well, I, I think we can just leave the car on the ground. Okay. okay so we'll raise this up a little bit. Is this the right way, do you remember? I... Uh, mm, I can't. So, do you, do you have it lined up so that the short side is... You know what I mean? Yeah, what the, was it like this? Well, so find the, the, the high, the two attachment points. So one attachment point is at the one left. Is this one, that's the higher one. Okay, that's the high. That's the higher one. The so the higher one needs to go on the shorter side. Oh, I had it. Oh. oh, there they are. Is it still there? No, I think I need to lower it. Okay, but... Yeah, I think you need to move the hoist and not the engine. Maybe. I don't know. Because maybe just dropping the engine is gonna. God, this is annoying. Oh, is that it? No. So what's the easy way to do this then? So this says lower the hoist and align it with the notches. Is that it? So as in the, the engine is stationary and then you, and then you do the hoist. Is that easier? I like can't. Yeah, and then I think you got to lift the hoist a little bit. Because I think when you had the engine in your hand, it was lifted. Oh, God, this is so annoying. It's like this time we know what to do. It's like, oh, I guess. It's also, like, what what height does it need to be at? What length? You know. Wait. Oh, oh. What nationality? Oh, I think you're tilted. Oh, there it oh. is. You said it was ten. Ten. I think ten's bigger than it is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright. So now we need to lift it up and we need to go put it into the uh into the car. 
So we move the hoist to the car, lower the hoist, and as soon as the engine is in the proper position, bolts will appear. How much higher do I have to crank it up? All the way up? Um, let's try it. Let's go take it over at that. Oops. Uh, try, yeah, try to put it in the ditch. <laughs> try to put it in the ditch. Okay. Higher? Nope, I just oh, kind of no, rolled it over. <laughs> That's kind of what I had to do, too. Actually, I had to, like, because mine is a longitudinal mount, so the transmission is, like, doubles the length of the engine, basically, because it sticks off the end of where it. Does it. Where does it rest in here? It. Oh, it rests on the subframe. Where? Oh, way back in there? So all those things I skipped, uh, one of them was the subframe. Okay, so taking this back up. I don't think we're going to get this running today. Oh, <gasps> Ian, did you think we were ending at 11 o'clock? Oh my goodness. I think this is good to have in our back pocket to come to when we feel like it. That's true. But it's not, it's not enthralling enough to like play for several weeks in a row. That's true. I really want to. But you know what? But I think... <laughs> I think part of the problem, though, is that we only stream once a week. So it's like if we have a lot of stuff we want to stream, it takes so long because we're only streaming once a week. Yeah, it does you know what sound I mean? Like part of the problem. If only I mean, there was some do, sort of delicious solution to that problem. What if we started to stream on Thursdays as well? What? What? <laughs> that would require so much effort, and that would require a great new name for any sort of thing we are streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, okay, so what if Tuesday streams are whatever game we're playing, whatever we want to play, like let's week ne next Tuesday, let's play Super Mario Maker 2 because it's out. But right, then obviously. Thursdays are for this. Yeah, Thursdays are for stream series. Like the idea is those longer form series like Subpixel Inc., or, um, you know, an upcoming Dark Souls series or like a brand new series that we could announce tonight where it's a long form series that we play over several weeks, the same game every Thursday night. How does that sound? That sounds great. What well, could we possibly name that sort of thing? I mean, is it, would we well, have anything prepared? What game, what game are we going to play? Like if we were to do that this Thursday our first like stream series in a way. What what game could we play? Like uh, some sort of 3D Terraria. You mean Minecraft? Oh, we should play Minecraft. Actually, Ian, I just bought server space for Minecraft. Did you? Yeah. What if we play that that mod you keep talking about? Uh, Sky Factory 4? Is that what it's oh, called? Oh, that's a great idea. The one my brother keeps texting me about? Yeah. Okay, so what about this Thursday? We add a new stream, 10 p.m. Thursday nights, and we kick it off with Minecraft Sky Factory 4, and we call it um, Minathon. Uh, Greg. Uh, how about The Sandbox? That's a great name, and I somehow conveniently had this graphic already made. Wow. I that is know. handy. It's very handy. That's very handy. It's also handy that you took credit for it, having you having made it. Yeah, I made this earlier today. Uh, actually, full credit goes to Jake made it. <laughs> uh, Ian made this graphic. Uh, we came up with the name. We've been messaging a lot about it. Uh, <sighs> yeah, so I think this Thursday we're going to kick it off. We're going to play Sky Factory 4 with uh, Will, myself, and his brother Zach, who has been on the stream before. Um, and the idea is, well, I guess we would have to move scan lines around, right? Yeah, because we can't have two things in one day. That's too much goodness. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's go over the new schedule then. So every Tuesday, we have Subpixel Live. Those are our normal Tuesday streams. We're going to try and focus on one-off games like My Summer Car, Super Mario Maker 2, uh, just whatever game is is tickling our fancy, Apex Legends, whatever we feel like playing on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, 
will be the new scan lines day. Same great scan lines. Uh, I think the tagline is two parts silly, one part Bubsy. That's basically scan lines. Um, and every Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern, is our new stream series night, wherein we stream whatever series we're focusing on at the moment. So it would be Subpixel Inc. Season 2. It would be the new Sandbox, which uh, focuses on Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, what other weird stream series have we done before? Um, um, all sorts um, of things we've done. Fa Factorio, Factorio, that was part of Subpixel Inc. Dark Souls, um, if we wanted to do some longer form stuff, we've got some ideas, maybe some scary games in Halloween. Um, just just something that lets us stretch our legs a little bit more and double our content output to you per week because, quite frankly, uh, I really like streaming. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and this doesn't. This is not like end-all, be-all, obviously, if um, like a certain stream picks up or a certain idea picks up. Uh, and we get more popular, then uh, we adjust. But we're yeah, trying to we'll, we'll like, just... double our efforts. Exactly. Uh, and um, one this more isn't, stream. This isn't the only schedule change coming. We have something else planned for the coming months. Um, I don't think we've publicly talked about it before. I'm glad we haven't. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Peel your eyes, people. Peel your eyes. And be excited. I'm actually really excited to play Minecraft on Thursday. Yeah, I'm, I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I'm very excited. Also, this Minecraft one will basically be more of a check-in rather than us waiting to play on Thursday nights. Yeah, so, it's going to be kind of uh, like Factorio where we we are... This Thursday will be us launching the server and joining for the first time. And then we're going to be playing on our own. And every Thursday, at least for the next couple of weeks, we'll be checking in and seeing where we are with uh, Sky Factory, which is supposed to be a very difficult mod. Um, I'm a little, little scared of it. I'm very excited. They've uh, revamped everything in Sky Factory for Sky Factory 4, and I have yet to play it, and I'm pumped. Have you played any Sky Factory? I played a bunch of 3. Okay, good, because I was like, hey, a new player tips, and it, it just right off the bat, it ramps it up to 11 yeah, in it's, terms of it's a lot. so it's many a lot. things that... And a Not lot of familiar. the systems they use, like I've used in other mods, so like smell, like the big giant furnacing stuff and everything. So. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds. But anyways, fun. that was uh, that was the stream tonight. Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, we should probably tweet out this image. Uh, uh, I have it planned for tomorrow. Sweet. So uh, anyone who watches this, you found out a little bit early. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here for my summer car. Um, my summer car is a great game i really i genuinely want to keep playing it right now it's very fun uh and look forward to the sandbox this thursday come check it out we'll be playing sky factory 4 me ian my brother zach will be there i know you all love him um more than me so come check that out yep. we'll have a blast yeah um until next time ian uh where can people find you you can find me on twitter at Think Gibson and Will, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270, and you can find all of our content right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're on Twitch, pop over to our YouTube channel. It's, scroll down to the bottom. There's a link to the YouTube. If you click About Us, I'm pretty sure that brings you to our website, subpixelfilms.com, which just redirects you to the YouTube page because we're fancy. Um, thank you for yeah. supporting us. If you're watching this from the future, this is where it all started or crashed and burned. Um, Ian, if you could suggest one piece of content for people to watch right now, what would it be? It would be the, um, uh, it's going to be a little bit of challenge for you. This is what I was thinking about in the shower this morning. Mostly was the stream in which I described for, I described how to choke you for like a solid oh, minute and a yeah, half while you were great. away from the stream. I can't I remember which one that was. It was Factorio. It was one of the Factorio, Factorio streams. I had to go close um, my window or something. Yes, uh, go look it up. I thought one. it was a very, that was one of our top streams, so feel free. Okay, thank you everyone for joining us. Have a wonderful night, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.